Hey guys, I'm back with my Project 10 Pan update and a what's in my everyday makeup basket for the month. I do this video midway through the month, so the makeup I'm using really goes from like the 15th to the 15th, not for, you know, like January or February. And I include my Project 10 Pan items in here. So, I will, I guess I'll go over the Project 10 Pan and then as I'm talking about what I do day to day, I'll include them. If that makes sense. So, first off, I have used up three of my Project 10 Pan items. First one to go was the Jouer Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. I used this up probably in the first two first week of my Project 10 Pan, and it was nice. Um, I've since gotten an even bigger size in my Ipsy. I used up one of my D Slicks. I have I think two more little setting sprays and a big one. And then I used up my It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. This took a, at least a solid year of use. And I do my brows all the time. So it, for the price, it really lasts. Um, it's not my favorite eyebrow pencil, but it was not bad. What I have not finished up, I'm still working on my Dior BB Cream. Um, in my first update, or when I started the tin paint, I was there. Then in my update, I was there. And now, I mean, it's basically like, I think it's maybe like around that area. And then just whatever's kind of like remnants around the edge of the tube. Because um, like when I look in it, I can't really see any definite um, foundation. You know what I mean? I feel like I should be done with this by the next update. But I'm not even going to lie to you guys. For the first two weeks of February, I didn't really wear much makeup so um when I did this last update it was the middle of January and I wore makeup those next two weeks and the first two weeks of February I hadn't I haven't really worn much makeup for probably a solid week I didn't even wear it so I just I my skin was bad I was just letting it heal this is the Burberry Fresh Glow I was there when I started and then on my update I had said I was here but I was actually there so, I mean, it's hard for me to squeeze some out. So, I think I should be done with this in a week. Let's hope. Okay, my Urban Decay 24-7 Double Eyeliner. This is all that is left. If this was not a double eyeliner, I mean, that, that pencil would be basically in the trash because there would be no way that you could physically sharpen it. So, since it's a double-ended eyeliner, you can use a lot more of it. It is... Do you see how like funky shaped it is? So it's getting dry. I don't even know if I'll be able to sharpen it again without it being weird. And then bourbon is this. Um, it's looking pretty good still. So I don't know. I'm hoping by the next update, zero will be gone. And whiskey, I'll still have that. I'm hoping I can finish this tin pan pretty soon. Because I want to do at least three this year. But... I'd like to do more, like, rounds of the tin pan. This I've made the least progress on. When I started, I was right there. Last update, I was there. And then now I'm up there. Um, this thing lasts a lot longer. But I want to say that somebody had told me, like, you can see all the foundation to there. I want to say I saw in some video that it ended about there. So, I don't know. This, I thought, would go faster than it really did. It's taken me longer than I expected. My NARS Pro Primer, I went ahead and I scooped everything out of it because I just, it was really hard to get stuff out. And I had a contacts case. It was old, but I cleaned it out, sterilized it, and I depotted into here. I don't know. Do you see this, like, neon green? It turned to that color this. Um, that's what I have left and it looks really gross probably because well I guess it's that color so that's what I have left of this and since it is old I think if I finish everything up and all that's left I'm gonna just get rid of it I love it but I do think it's time I probably have a fresh one because I, I don't know but that's, it's really not a ton. 
So I think I'll be able to finish this off before I end the Project Tin Pan. But that's all that I have left of that. So you're probably not going to be seeing this tube anymore. Okay, and last but not least is the Philosophy of the Present. This is where it was when I started, then there, and now I'm about there. I haven't been using this either. Well, I'm really about, it looks like there. Um, so I move this to my bathroom and days I don't want to wear makeup, I go ahead and put this on and it kind of does work. It's like a clear makeup. It just makes your skin look good. Um, I used to really love this, but it just doesn't really work for my skin anymore. When I was younger and oilier, it was better. So I won't repurchase this, but I'll use it up. Okay. So we need to get started with the rest. And this is what I keep my makeup in. Some stuff I'm going to show you. Some stuff I'm not. Because I do leave a few things in here that are just everyday staples. Okay. Also for foundation, I'm going to have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in here. I have the shade 2.0. I'm really trying to finish up the other one. But some days, I'm gonna, in case I decide I want something else. So I have this in here. And then I have all of my little foundation samples and I don't have a ton, but I leave them in here in case I ever want to mix in anything or whatnot. And I think my next project pan, I'm going to have those and get those out of here. Because when I did my makeup inventory, I counted everything as one. So, like this foundation sample, I counted for a whole foundation. And, I mean, it's not a full size, but, you know. So then I decided to pick a few single eyeshadows. If you don't know, I'm using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Palette for the month of February. But I like to always pick a few little eyeshadows just for, um, you know, in case I want something else. This is my um, Clinique Duo that I'm trying to pan for the year. I still have the MAC Force of Nature in here. I haven't tried it yet. I don't always reach for my single shadows, but I like to put a few in here to, you know, give them some use. I decided to pull out my NARS shadows this time and I pulled out a few taupey colors. This is Ondine. It's like a purpley taupe. Cairo. It's like a lighter taupe. It's not matte. It has some shimmer. And Himalaya, which is one of the dual intensity. It's more like a bronzy taupe. It's very pretty. So those are my single eyeshadows. I also have my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness, which I use on my rosacea patches, along with my Physician's Formula Conceal RX in the shade Fairlight. I've been using this more lately. It really, it depends these spots. Some days the It Cosmetics is good. Some days this is good. It's so weird. Some days I'll put it on and it looks awful and I have to take it off and reapply it. So I just, it's kind of just like a trial and error to see which one is working for me. Right now it's this. My Dr. Jart BB Disipore. I use this as kind of a primer. This stuff is amazing. It covers, it makes your skin just look like fresher and brighter. I've heard a few people say my skin looked really good in videos or it looked like more glowy and fresh. It is this. It is this. It's amazing. For setting powder, I'm still using my MAC Blot Powder because I am making decent headway on it. I had to take my Rimmel Stay Matte out of here and give it a break. I was so sick of it. And then for finishing powder, I decided to change it up. Instead of my Hourglass Diffused, I have my Hourglass Palette. I thought I would give them some attention. These are great as well. And then for bronzer, I was, <laughs> I enjoyed my Chanel's bronze universal so much um that it does start looking a little gross the more you use it that i decided to keep it in here another month and i put a powder bronzer in here as well and it's my bobby brown golden light i've never even used never everybody raves about it so i decided to throw it in and see what the fuss is about i picked out three blushes. I was going to just use two, but I decided to throw in a third. And I decided this time to try or pull up my Dior blushes. I have the Rosy Glow, which I really enjoy a hot pink pop of color. And I haven't really given this one much attention. And this is the Mimi Bronze, which is my kind of color. I've used this a good bit. 
and my Ch Clinique Peach Pop, Cheek Pop, because I thought I needed to add a coral. A nude, neutral, pink, and a coral. This one I used a lot last spring and summer. And then for highlight, I pulled out my Dior Amber Diamond. I love this one. And it can be used as an eyeshadow as well. So, that's that. And then for cream eyeshadow, I have three pots and three pencils. I have bare... Sorry, Sigma Persuade, and this is kind of like, I think, MAC Painterly. It's kind of like that pinky beige. I kind of forget to use these, I'm not going to lie. MAC Rubenesque. I've touched one time. And MAC Eclair, it was in here last month, and I didn't even touch it. It's very, very dark. And then for the pencils, I have my Chanel Pink Lagoon. And this is really pretty pink. My By Terry Ombre Black Star in Bronze Moon. I don't love this one as much. Out of the high-end ones, I would skip the By Terry. But I would get this. The Trish McAvoy Rose Quartz. It is really pretty. Then I have this NYX Scandal Eyes Waterproof Cole Kajal Liner. I had a few days this past month. My eyes were just like really red and irritated. So I was using that on my lower lash line. Then for mascaras, I still have my Maybelline The Rocket Waterproof, my Bare Minerals Lash Domination. I also have my CoverGirl Lash Blast, and I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz. That's what I'm working on right now. And a few other little odds and ends that aren't really anything I'm working on. There's just kind of little staples that just kind of stay in here month to month. My Chanel Eyelash Curler, of course. And then for lips, I always leave my lip pencils here. I'm working on my lip products that are in my 15 and 15. If you haven't watched that video, check it out. Those are my staples. But I also pull out um, a few things that I'm trying to work on. Not work on, but that I rotate. And I don't rotate this every month. It's just more quarterly. And right now, it's really um, glosses all in here. It's the YSL Nude Carrot, Urban Decay Naked, Buxom Celeste, Lime Crime Cashmere, Mac Purr, Pacifica Opal, my Clarins Instant Light Perfector in 01, and Chanel Giggle. So those are my glosses. Oh, I do have a um, ColourPop Lumiere. Sorry. So those are the ones I'm leaving out to work on and make up forever mist and fix little setting spray. I'm working on that will be done in probably a use oh lord me i forgot two more things i'm just bad today my it cosmetics um tight line for my lower lash line and my stroke of light by bare minerals Ooh, that won't die okay so that's what i have at my little everyday makeup i felt like this video was a little haphazard tell me if you would like me to do it differently would you like me to start at my face and work everything down did you like this video as it was? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Um, you will see this outfit in the rest of the videos for the week. My daughter was sick the last, today's Saturday. Um, the last part of last week she was sick, so I wasn't able to do any filming. And I had a few videos I needed to get up, so you will see this look. And I'm actually wearing the blue shade in the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Palette. I decided to try the blue look that comes in the pamphlet, and I'm actually not hating it. But you'll hear more about it in my own one month, one palette review. So that is all for now. Um, I hope I didn't forget anything. So I will see you guys later. Bye.